Gotta learn how to keep pushing, keep moving, and don't let any obstacle stop you. The sky is not the limit, contrary to what people say. You can go as far as you, your mind can take you. Your attitude determines your altitude. So, as far as you can think, as far as your mind can bring you, is how far you can go. And that helps to be around people who think that same way. And it helps to be in groups of people that help to motivate that type of thought. When you get around people who I call dream killers, they got to be weeded out. That's kind of like a cancer. If you're around people who always got something negative to say about your dreams or things that you want to do or want to accomplish, you need to cut them out immediately. I'm not saying that they can't be your homeboy, but I can't just sit around with you all day. I can't, I can't come and play video games with children. I can come and say hi, but I got things I'm trying to do. Say if we was going, somebody told you, hey man, there's a million dollars in Dallas, Texas, right now waiting on you. When you get in your car to go to Dallas, do you, are you going to stop, make it stop, see you know what I mean, go stop on my boy house, kill a ticket? Are you going to get where you're trying to go? If you've got goals to accomplish, we don't really have time to mess around with the trip. We don't have time to play around. We're going to have setbacks anyway. There's going to be potholes in the road. There's going to be detours. There's going to be problems that are going to run into as it is. So any extras, we don't have time for. I'm trying to get to the money. If it's in Dallas, I'm not going up to New York. I'm not going to Tennessee. I've got somewhere I'm trying to go. I've got goals I'm trying to, trying to meet. And that is where I'm trying to go. And I'm not letting anyone stop me from getting there. I can talk to you all day. But the thing is that you always have to remember that this is the world that we're living in isn't sunshine and rainbow. It's not. So being that it's not, you have to make sure that you are equipped with everything that you can have a degree, with as much go above and beyond, like they were saying in anything that you work with. Get equipped with as much as you can so whenever you get out there and you're facing things, you'll be able to conquer those. My last thing I want to say, all y'all play video games, right? I know the majority of them. I used to have a video game when I was younger, it's called Mega Man. Mega Man, you used to start out to start with a shoot and he'd shoot these little balls at these little characters and whatnot. But when you beat the first boss of the, of the stage, if you beat the first stage, you get equipped with that boss's weapon, which helps you on the next level. A lot of people don't want to face their bosses or their issues, so therefore they never make it off the first stage. So you can't be scared to face your bosses or your issues because your issue is what helps you grow and equips you to fight the next stage. And you do that level by level until you beat the game. You can't let a boss stop you. You can't let any, any issues get in your way. Because for real, I'm thankful for every issue that I ran into. Because that made me what I am today. My issues are the, archi are the architects of the man I am today. Not the things that I, the things that I've accomplished are very, you're happy about those, but you're most so happy because of the problems that you have to go through to get there. Matter of fact, when I go through things to accomplish, like I bought carpet for my house. I used to have a park that, you know what I mean, we'll walk in, my homeboys come in after it rained, you know what I mean, shoes on, just coming through the house. After I bought that carpet, <laughs> take your shoes off. You know I, mean? I paid too much for this carpet because I understood that I had to work for this. Nobody's not going to come and mess my stuff up. You know what I'm saying? So every talent and everything you go to accomplish, that's how you got to see it. You're not going to come and put mud on my carpet, bro. I work too hard for it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so therefore, any talent you have, that is, you hustle like your life depends on it, because it does. So therefore, you don't let nobody come in and mess up what you work hard. And anything worth having, you have to work hard. You know what I'm saying? Because if you give somebody something, I had a cousin that his mom gave him a Mustang. It's the freshest Mustang I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that boy wrecked that Mustang two months later. Two months that he did, he had food, fries, and stuff, all the toys. He didn't work for that Mustang, so he doesn't understand what his mom had to go through to get that, so he didn't respect that gift or that blessing that he received. So don't waste your blessing. Accomplish any goal that you have in your mind. It's up to you how fast you get there. You can stop in New York, you can go to, you can go to uh, Bangladesh, and you know that the money's in Texas, and we got there. And I guess that's about it. Uh,